Hey guys, it's Steven here, and today I'm back with another video. Now, uh, this video was just, like, completely whatever. You know, I just, like, decided to do this video, because why not? Uh, I'm going to be reacting to the uh, 2017 uh, MTV Movie Awards. Uh, that's right, uh, the MTV Movie Awards are coming on in about two minutes, and I felt like, you know, giving a reaction to the winners. So, um, um, I'm going to give my prediction, uh, before I, you know, uh, s before the winner comes up, and, um, well, this will be fun, so, uh, I'll, I'll be right back. Okay, this opening here with, uh, Adam Devine is actually pretty hilarious, um, this could be entertaining. Alright, we're on to Best Actor in a Movie. Uh, who do I think is gonna win? I think... maybe... I think either Emma Watson or Beauty and the Beast, or Hugh Jackman in Logan. Um, I think that Hugh Jackman in Logan is gonna take it. And I'd also like to see him take it. I, I knew it. Um, I should have went with Emma Watson. I, I would have loved to have seen Hugh Jackman take it, but uh, Emma Watson was good. So. Okay, you know, Emma Watson's speech is really great and nice and all that, but I think it's going on for way longer than it has to be, okay? Just get to the next award already. Okay, you know, this re-edited, you know, thing with, like, uh, you know, the trailer for Logan... I think it's actually pretty funny. Um, Alright, we're on to uh, Best Actor in the Show. Um, I think that... Um, I think... M Millie Bobby Brown in Stranger Things is going to win. But it could go to Donald Glover for Atlanta. But I think that Millie Bobby Brown is going to take it. Nice. Um, I, I actually predicted that right. That's awesome. I don't know why exactly these people accepting the MTV Movie Awards think it's such a big deal. I mean, sure, like, you're winning an award, but it's like, it's the MTV Movie Awards, you know? It's like, it's not like you're winning the at the Oscars or anything. So, uh, eh, I don't know. They're showing a clip from uh, Spider-Man Homecoming. Oh, I cannot wait to see Spider-Man Homecoming. I mean, who isn't excited for that movie, okay? It looks great, okay? Sony, or no, Marvel finally got the rights back to Spider-Man, and now we'll get a proper Spider-Man movie, okay? That sounds awesome. All right, we're on to uh, Best Duo. I think it's going to be between um, Logan or, uh, or Beauty and the Beast, and I think... Um, I think they're going to give it to uh, Beauty and the Beast, um, you know, Josh Gad and Luke Evans, just because, you know, because they're, like, them on screen together was just freaking hilarious, so, yeah, I think that they're going to win, and I wouldn't mind seeing them win, you know, or it could go to, you know, uh, you know, Daniel Kaluuya and Lil Rel Howery, in um, Get Out because their you know their chemistry together together was just unbelievable. Their camaraderie back and forth was just perfect. <laughs> He's played one of the all-time great characters for 17 years, and Logan gave him the send-off. So um. Uh, Hugh Jackman and Daphne Keen in, uh, in Logan took it. Cool. Well, they were great together in Logan. Really. Yeah. You know, I like how that when Hugh Jackman and Daphne Keen got on stage, you know, they were just trying to have fun with it, you know, they were joking around. It's like, why can't we have more of that in award shows, okay? You're up on stage, okay? Like, you can do whatever you want, say whatever you want. Okay? It's like, it's going against the system. 
And uh, I stand by that. You know, is it me or do you think that Allison Williams in Get Out kind of resembles Jennifer Connelly? I wanted to say that in my review, but I thought it was just pointless. But uh, I really do think she looks like Jennifer Connelly. Alright, we're on to uh, Best Kiss. Yeah, that's the category. And uh, I think it's between uh, La La Land and, uh, or Moonlight's. And I think that, uh, you know, I feel that Moonlight could take it. Um, and you know what? Yeah, I think I'm predicting Moonlight is going to take it. And the winner is... Action Sanders and Jarrell Wow! Awesome! I got that right. And, uh, first of all, I'm just shocked that Moonlight was nominated for something. Because, you know, it's not like an MTV Movie Awards type of, you know, movie, but... It was great. You know, Ashton Sanders in Moonlight was great. I would have liked to have seen him nominated for something, you know, like he, because he got nothing all award season, and I feel he should have gotten at least something. You know? I think that, um, we're on to best fight against the system. You know, I personally think that uh, Hidden Figures should take it, and uh, that's what I'm predicting is going to take it. And that's also what I'd like to see take it. You know what, I'm going to change it. I think that Loving is going to take it, because that movie is 100% about going against the system, you know? So, uh, yeah, I change it to um, Loving. And the winner is... Hidden Figures! Damn it! I, sh I changed it to loving at last second. That was dumb of me. You know, they're showing a montage of the, the Fast and Furious movies, and, uh, you know, just seeing Paul Walker, just like, it almost. It's so emotional, you know? It's like. It's kind of sad when you think about it. You know, the thing that's really annoying is that, like, they're only showing, like, one award, and then they go on to commercial break, okay? Like, there's how many, there's how many, like, awards, like, you over... There's, like, you know, 20 awards, like, why can't you just do, like, you know, like, two or three, and then a commercial break, okay? It's, it's annoying to me. I don't like that. I am just praying, hoping that the new Wonder Woman is going to be great, okay? I mean, the first two, or who, the Man of Steel was good, and then Batman v Superman Suicide Squad were very meh. So I don't, I'm just so, I'm hoping Wonder Woman doesn't suck. It looks like it's going to be pretty promising, though, you know? Um, but... I don't know, DC just hasn't had the best track record right now, you know? Well, but I think this could be the movie to, you know, save the franchise of DC films, so, you know? Hopefully. Alright, so we're on to the uh, Next Generation Award, I believe. And who do I think is going to win? I think maybe... I'm going to say Daniel Kaluuya in Get Out is going to win. Him or, uh, or Riz Ahmed in The Night Of. But I think uh, Daniel Kaluuya is going to take it. That's also what I'd like to see uh, take it. Nice. I predicted that right. Awesome. You know, I said this in my movie review of Get Out, and... And that is, I was surprised to find out that Daniel Kaluuya is British, because in the movie, like, I did not once notice his accent, and that's how good he was in that movie. They're showing a clip from, uh, uh, or no, they're showing, I believe, the trailer for the movie, uh, for the new It remake. Okay, I think that movie's actually gonna be pretty good. But I'm looking forward to it, but my one complaint is that, you know, it's by the guy who directed, you know, the movie, movie I'm trying to remember, oh, Mama? Huh, so, I'm, so part of me thinks it won't be that great, but I think, it, I think it'll be good, though. You know, the new Pirates of the Caribbean movie is actually looking pretty good because Javier Bardem is in it, playing the villain. That should be pretty interesting. <laughs> 
They're parodying um, Get Out and Stranger Things at once. That's hilarious. <laughs> you know, he gets sucked into the floor and into, you know, the other world from Stranger Things. That's hilarious. You know, that, uh, see, Ansel Elgore is presenting an award. I cannot wait to see, uh, Baby Driver. I think that's gonna be great. Alright, we're on to, uh, Tear Jerker. I feel it should go to the scene from Moonlight, because that scene is just, like, really emotionally powerful. I think it is actually the most emotionally powerful scene of all those, uh, shows, or the, all those things nominated. But it could go to This Is Us, but I'm gonna say Moonlight is gonna take it. And the winner is This Is Us. Ah, I knew it. I would love to see Moonlight take it. I mean, come on, that scene is just, like, that thing pulls at your heartstrings. You know, I haven't seen the show This Is Us. Uh, my dad talked about how much he loves it, so um, I think I'm going to watch it at some point. Alright, we're on to um, Best Host, and uh, personally, I would like to see John Oliver for uh, Last Week Tonight take it, and I am predicting he's going to take it, because um, cause he does, he's so good, okay? He's funny as hell with uh, last week tonight, okay, so I think that he is going to take it. Ah, oh, man. I would have liked to have seen John Oliver take it, but uh, that's okay. I can live with that. Of course, Trevor Noah just had to make a joke about Donald Trump at one point, because he's Donald Trump. Why not? If my uh, camera looks a little bit dark, it's because my uh, my camera is about to die soon, so bear with me. I think that um, best musical moment is uh, gonna go to Can't Stop the Feeling from Trolls. I oh, well...